planet Earth. The jewel of the solar system, 71% of its surface covered in water. From oceans to rivers, a marvel is never far to be seen. Perhaps one of the planet's greatest spectacles is this, the Wandsbeck River. We take our cameras deeper than any have ever gone before and capture the wonders that this river holds and discover its role in this, our brown planet. The sound of these cheeky flutes heralds the start of our journey, like rising nipples pointing us to the direction of our first encounter with life in this, the Wandsbeck River. Soon, it's not long before our patience is rewarded. It's a shopping trolley. These placid creatures are seen in many numbers in the Wandsbeck. This one is looking for a mate. Today, it's in luck. A female scouring the deck for food catches its attention, and it won't be long before the male is inserting its chain into the female's rusting coin slot. We leave them to mate. With every clang and squeak brings new hope that when we revisit, younglings will be swimming with them. Several months later, when we revisit, we find that the Wandsbeck River has once again favoured life. The mother, the father, and their shoal of children. Of course, as well as holding great beauty, oceans and rivers are well known to also be hostile environments. The Wandsbeck River is no different, as we soon see. A rubber johnny. These jellyfish-like creatures can be seen in a great number in the Wandsbeck. However, they do not cohabit well. Here, our cameras capture a fierce standoff between one johnny and another. There can be only one survivor in this battle. They lunge at each other, rubber tip slapping rubber tip, an act known as Johnny Jousting. A pursuit unfolds, burning rubber under the one's back. <laughs> Fuck me! And this fierce battle for territory rages deep under the waters of the Wandsbeck. Sadly, both Johnnies cannot survive. And this one has once again met its end. Draped on a piece of driftwood, it takes its last gasps of life. Beaten, exhausted, it's lost its spunk. usually found in the Antarctic would be the last thing you would expect to see on the banks of a river in Northumberland. But here the Wandsbeck delivers again and we see one. It's a penguin. Somehow separated from the rest of its packet, it stands on shore, resting, gathering its strength before setting off on the long journey home. Paintings, etchings and drawings on a nearby bridge tell of an ancient civilization that perhaps walked these river banks. This, perhaps, a drawing of a lighthouse, 
once guiding in sailors, preventing them from crashing on the mossy rocks pictured below. This a clue to the dietary requirements of this ancient civilization, Shazza's penchant for the pork length. Many locals claim to have seen a mysterious sea creature lurking, dwelling, swimming in these murky waters. Though many have told this story, no one has captured it on film. Until now. We hit the jackpot. A mysterious cry from afar. <laughs> and there it is. The Northumbrian freshwater char whale. <laughs> it moves from fish to fish to fish, not looking for food or hunting, but asking for 20p for the bus ride home. <laughs> History books tell how steamers once populated rivers around the world. The Wandsbeck is no different. Here's some historical footage showing two immense steamers floating down the channel of the Wandsbeck. If you think public transport stinks now, in those days, it was utter shit. And so we reach the watery climax of this special edition of the Brown Planet. From shopping trolleys to rubber johnnies, arctic birds, charred whales and steamers. We've seen them all here within the Wandsbeck and learnt of its place in this, our Brown Planet. Next time on Brown Planet, we visit the seaside town of Whitby and learn how all seagulls are nothing but chip-thieving c- <laughs>